also throw it down the field. A couple of master play callers, offensive coordinators. Durant on second and six. Look out. How does he get away? He does it again. Tucks it. Takes it. And a first down. We've grown accustomed to that. Well, the leg's back. You can tell by that run that there's no problems with any injury, any residual effect of, of injuries from last year. I don't know how he gets out of trouble there. Charleston Hughes had a chance at him, and he knows where the first down marker is or else he would have stepped out of bounds without having to worry about taking a hit from Jamar Wall, but he needed that extra yard. Get that little push out of bounds. Rough Riders doing a tremendous job of keeping the Calgary offense off the field with these sustained drives. A lot of mix and match. They really haven't had two of the same play in succession. Go to the ground, go to the air, find somebody different. And it's spreading it around. Well, you're right. In the first half, we saw a whole bunch of, of Weston Dressler, and it's been a lot of Corey Sheets in the second. 20 plays to six plays in the second half for Saskatchewan. Another second down. Up the rush and this one's up for grabs at the goal line. Incomplete, but a flag on the play as Weston Wrestler slow to get up was sandwiched. Looked like Jonathan Hefney. Our coach, Paul LaPolice, at halftime mentioned the matchup between Dressler and Jonathan Hafney. The Dressler was starting to get the edge on that matchup early. Interference call against Hafney. And Hafney does get up high early before the ball arrives. In fact, looked like the ball hits the outside of his elbow that's across the face of Dressler as he goes down. Jonathan Hefney has been in chase with Weston Dresser all night long. The coach was on that matchup. Absolutely. Rough Riders to take the lead in this ball game for the first time. Sheets. Corral. And now, second burst. Touchdown. Calgary's arguing that his forward progress was stopped and that there should have been a whistle. Is that a little G Roy there? I believe it was. Corey Sheets has been super tonight. Well, I, I think Calgary fans are wondering why there wasn't a whistle. He, I think everyone in the park, including the staff Peters on the field, thought that his forward progress was stopped. But he kept his hand down, kept balance, and then turned spun. His knee did not go down, but they are going to review this. The score is under review by the command center. Well, they review every score in play. So that happens anyway. But I didn't hear a whistle. No. By all accounts, he should have been down right here. You see his hand. Look at no knee. That's great strength, hand, by the way. Yeah, hand it down. Down. Yeah, and there was no whistle to stop forward progress. Sometimes you don't have to be down. If you're not progressing the ball forward, the official can blow it down. But there was no whistle. So he kept chugging. Tremendous balance at Corey Sheets. But second effort, it's Bader. And once again, they line up to keep the math correct here to make it a seven-point game. Two-point convert. Durant stands in. Successful. Weston Dressler. And for the first time tonight, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders have the lead. Corey Sheets. A tribute to G-Roy. Back first lead. The Rough Riders 
have scored five times in their last six possessions. Since they were down 14 to three, they have outscored Calgary 25 to seven. Mo is in their corner. Momentum. Stampeders need to get their offense on the field. And Larry Taylor has a nice return. Let's go back. I want to show you where the official was on that run. It was the umpire, Gordon Unger, who was right to the right of your screen there. And he's got his eyes right on Corey Sheets. Has the whistle there. Did not blow it dead. And watch the forward progress continue. So he was right on the spot. You can't get a better angle or view from the official. Look at Ben Heenan. Ben Heenan gets a little hard for his running back. Way to go. Decimal level is raised here. Cornish time. Very quiet tonight, John Cornish. Now the Stampeders, for the first time tonight, have to play catch-up. Not many touches. You know, that's, that's why Cornish... Not many touches for him compared to Corey Sheets. Second and four for Matt Rush. There's the pump and go again. This one is up for grabs, and it's knocked down. Again, Maurice Price in double coverage this time. And it doesn't look like the Saskatchewan Rough Riders are giving that one away like they did early. Well, once again, it was that matchup, and Drew Tate thought he tested one more time. That's Prince Miller in his first game. But look how deep he stays this time. Never allows Maurice Price to eat up his cushion, get behind him. And Tyron Brackenridge has seen that play enough in this game tonight went flying over there to help out his young cornerback. Third to two and out for the Stamps. Three straight possessions, three straight punt teams. Big flat line here in this second half. Rob Maver puts his right leg into it. Good kick on the sideline. Jock Sanders. Look out. There he goes, and Sean Sanders with an electrifying return. 19 yards when it looked like he would be stopped for nothing. Regina is rocking. The CFL on TSN is brought to you by GMC. We are professional grade. 28-21. Home opener for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. A game far, far from being determined. This could go down to the last team with the ball tonight. It's been a crazy one, but it has been great Canadian football at its best. Clean football, no turnovers, only seven penalties. Durant gets them. He's brought down in a hurry by Jamar Wall. Yeah, it really has. No turnovers in this football game. It's been a clean played game, physical game. Offenses putting some points on the board. Swings of momentum. Absolutely. CFL at its best. Only one sack. Who will blink? Second down conversion time for the Rough Riders. Grant, quick hitter, and it's Getzlaff again. Who almost got away from Eric Fraser. Seven catches tonight for Chris Getzlaff. Eric Fraser gets up limping a little bit. Seven catches for Getzlaff. He's working that curl zone again. It's either curl or corner for Getzlaff tonight. Or excuse me, for Getzlaff or West Dressler tonight. And Eric Fraser goes to the sideline. Looks like he got nicked up a little bit. First and ten, or up on us. Corey Sheets. Ripped down again by Sean Lemon. Stop for a loss. Will be second and long. Nice low angle for you. 
Sean Lemon reads the block and then anticipates the play from there. And I see Junior Turner back in the lineup at defensive line for Calgary. And that means Demetrius Morley can come in and play safety. Eric Fraser lift off. Again, all about the ring shield. Stan Peters was showing blitz and then stepped back and Dressler head down again. And this time he has stopped well short, just past the initial line of scrimmage. So, so for a rare occasion in his second half, but Ricky Schmidt brings that strong leg out. Interesting too there. Eric Fraser was on the field with Junior Turner there. So this coach is doing an amazing job of, of balancing this Canadian ratio. Yeah, you have to be an accountant, don't you? <laughs> you do. Or have one beside yes. you on the sideline. Larry Taylor's back at his 10-yard line. He's been contained so far. Again, that back spin kick. There is a penalty flag. That came before the kick. Might that be a lot of flags? And some rough stuff behind the play as well. Might be too many men based on where that flag was dropped. We'll have to see here. You know, every time a too many men on the field penalty is called, the uh, Saskatchewan Rough Rider fans <laughs> cringe you know, a little, but when it's against them, they love it. Yeah, and, and Roger, you started that sentence. Every Rider fan watching this game went, no, don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. Count them up, Suits. There's got to be two returners back there, 12 and 13. Got 11 across the, the front. And that was a costly penalty because it's an automatic first down for the Rough Riders. They get a reprieve here. Eight minutes to go. Lead by a converted touchdown. They keep it on the turf. Sheets with a spin move this time. Jonathan Hefty and was able to pick up a couple more. Justin Phillips on the tackle. Well, you know what? Let's go back and count them again because this is a big penalty. And I, I, Calgary fans are wondering. There he is on the end. 11 and there. 12. And then a returner back outside to the right of your screen, just outside of your screen in the end zone. So that wide player, I'm not sure which one shouldn't have been on the field, but there were 13. Glaring gaze of John Huffnagel. Not happy with that. Breakdown. Sheets again. Breaks through. Looks like another first down. Saskatchewan has absolutely owned the football here in the second half. Well, up front, they, they really have started to control that line of scrimmage in the second half. Ben Heenan playing another good game in just his second start at right tackle. But we just, I mean, I, I expected tonight, Rod, to talk about Charleston Hughes for a lot of this night. As well as he's played all of last year and in week one of this year. And we have barely mentioned him. And that's a tribute to those five guys up front. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Xavier Fulton on the other end. Sometimes they'll move Hughes around. But at left tackle, Xavier Fulton, who Chris Schultz, by the way, last year said he felt was the best offensive lineman in the league. Here he is, number 58. Left tackle protects the blind side. Van Heenan, right tackle. First and 10. Oh, oh. Gary Durant picks it up, and then he is dropped. And is Sean Lemon with the drop. And that was a big sack. But it was a broken play from the beginning because of the snap. Yeah, Dominic Picard, I'm not sure if he's trying to figure out the stunt in front of him looked like it might have brushed his leg or something bounced off him and in those cases quarterbacks just have to take it on the chin and, and live to play another down that was a big one because that would be a long field goal attempt here if Calgary can hold they show three men they rush three Durant lets it fly and 
and they're going to stop Weston Wrestler and aggressively right throw him right. down and unnecessary. And there's the unnecessary and unnecessary roughness because that is another enormously costly penalty for the Calgary Stampeders. That would have stopped the drive, yep. give up a field goal at best. But instead, the Rough Riders will continue this drive. Okay. Major foul. Unnecessary roughness. a bit of a past from his days in Winnipeg. Forward progress stop, whistle went. It wasn't Hefney, actually. It Juwan was Hefney Simpson. on the outside. They got the wrong number. That was Juwan Simpson that threw him down. Two ridiculous penalties against the Calgary Stampeders here. Kept the drive alive. Kept them alive. Too many men and unnecessary roughness. Now Durant. Far side. Gets left. Will score. Touchdown. And the Rough Riders make the Stampeders pay. What a night for Gets left. Everything thrown his way. He has been money. Eight catches. Two yards away from 100 yards on the night. Look at this man. And how about this second effort? Oh. Now, did he cross the plane, or was that ball outside? Every touchdown is reviewed. Under review by the but tremendous effort from Getzlaff. I know Calgary fans want to see that again, because I'm not sure if he didn't have that ball on the outside of the pole. What an effort. Stays in bounds. And touches. And they're saying it was good. Milo with a point after. And time is running out on the Calgary Stampeders who have not had enough time offensively with the football in the second half. It's been all green and white. Their biggest lead, 35-21. Kessler also seeing a lot of action and a lot of smiles on that sideline. This game has completely turned from the beginning of the second half. Calgary has not put a point on the board. They dominated the first half. Larry Taylor. Right now, Stampeders need some sort of energy, some momentum. Let's go down to Lee Jones on the sideline again. Well, for them to get back in this game, their defense is going to have to make a stop, and it's going to be tough. They're starting to lose players. Defensive tackle Mika Johnson has an ice pack on his right side. He's likely not going to return. Well, let Sean Lemon, of course, looked extremely good in the preseason. Former rider and Eskimo. He had a contact problem. Neither of those players were on the field when the rider scored a touchdown, guys. And the worst news, Lee, is that this crowd is really into it, so communication is going to be at a premium. No, it's a drop. It's a one-hopper to Maurice Price. Well, and Drew Tate's got to stay on the field. I mean, the time of possession in this second half is staggering. You think the Saskatchewan Rough Riders hold the time of possession in the second half. And I see Kevin Glenn now coming in. Kevin Glenn in the ball game. Jim behind. I think Glenn had initially had some time to throw the football, but he had to pull it down, hold on to a bit for another second, and Ray Williams and Ricky Foley got home. Think of how this has turned for Calgary. They were off the field twice on the last Saskatchewan offensive series. It ended up in a touchdown to make it a two-possession game. 
Worst thing is, their defense has given up six scores and seven possessions. Jock Sanders. And they're gassed. They need to come up with some big play, possibly a turnover. We just talked about this penalty-free kind of game. And if the Stampeders are unable...